Welcome to Sydney CBD. As you can see, there's the Harbour Bridge behind me, and uh, see the Opera House over there as well. Hopefully, it's, it's quite loud here. I'm in the train station, as you can see, but um, it's such a beautiful view that I thought I'd take take advantage of it. You can see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House in one scene. Beautiful. So. I wanted to come up here and talk to you guys about baby arbitrage. What is baby arbitrage? Uh, well, I've kind of invented this idea that I'd like to spread to men in uh, Western countries like Australia. Uh, as you can see, I am in Sydney. It is a wealthy, first world, expensive Western country. And along with that comes uh, a lot of the problems that men are suffering from at the moment. Not to, it's not only dating, but it is uh, almost every aspect of a man's life is being negatively affected by uh, the current laws. If you were to get married, you, were, you would have to... Um, uh, and have some kids, let's just say you get divorced, etc. A lot of the, the, the family courts, everything is heavily weighted in favour of women. Now this isn't me complaining, don't get me wrong, uh, things aren't good, but I'm not complaining, uh, asking for sympathy, uh, want you to get all negative about it, I'm here to offer up a solution. Uh, a solution to the problem that we face at the moment, and this is how entrepreneurs and free thinkers in the world change the world. Now, if the West doesn't want to give men equal rights to their own children, they want to uh, you know, heavily weight the support system to neg negatively affect men, not only when it comes to having access to their own children, uh, which happens almost all the time, but uh, on top of that, this harbour bridge behind us was built by men, was designed by men. This opera house was designed by men and built by men. Uh, the Western, Western society was built by men, defended by men. 99% of all deaths in, in wars to defend the West were men. And then we get rich and then the rules change, the laws change and uh, they restrict and oppress the men who uh, are descendants of the men who fought and died and built these countries. Uh, again, this isn't me complaining about it, this is just facts, this is just a reality. This is the reality of what we are dealing with at the moment in the West. And this is where baby arbitrage comes into it. You are putting yourself at risk if you are in the lower classes or in, in the middle class in a Western country to get married. Let's just say you uh, have some success after getting married. Uh, almost all of your money is going to be taken from you and your children. Uh, custody is heavily weighted in favour of the women. I think a lot of you guys already know that. So let me just move on to what baby arbitrage is. So I've come up with this idea, and this is a challenge for myself to be, to put oh, my arm here. Let's try this side. Nice. I've been, I've, I've invented this idea, baby arbitrage, and I'd like to try this for myself. I've already had uh, a little bit of success. I've come very close to achieving this already. But the basic premise is. You go to countries where the court systems do not uh, heavily oppress men. Usually these are developing countries that need to rely on men to build the country, uh, defend the country and uphold the economy. So therefore those men are given more rights during the developing stage of any country. 
So Western men can still go from these uh, developed, uh, somewhat collapsing Western societies that have become overly regulated and oppressing men and move to a, 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 a uh, developing country that still gives men rights over their own children and rights over their own funds, etc. And what you do is you find yourself a girl over there where you do have a lot more leverage than you would in the West. You do have laws that uh, are not only equal, but may maybe instead of being heavily weighted in, in favour of the women, they might be heavily weighted in favour of the men. And you find yourself a girl over there who, uh, you know, likes you, best case scenario, wants to fall in love with you, and uh, you have children with her abroad. And this is why it's called baby arbitrage, because what you're doing is you're utilizing the currency arbitrage between the wealth of your your nation and the power of your currency to support your children abroad. We can go a lot more deeper into that. Uh, that's the, the most simplistic way of putting it. But also, if you want to mix geopolitics into it, you select a country that is developing and is... Uh, uh, the best way to coin the term a rookie, a, a country that could possibly be a developed first world country in the first place, keep in, uh, in, in the future, sorry, keep in mind countries like the United States and Australia and Canada, we imported so many immigrants over the course of the last 50 years, where those immigrants chose a country that was rising and they benefited from the, the wealth of that nation growing over time. They moved to a country, all couldn't even speak the language, and managed to uh, become rich themselves. Now, you can now, right at the pinnacle, we're, we're at the peak of Western civilization, and civilization is about to start collapsing. Uh, civilization, this isn't even a... Uh, I don't even think this is 50-50. This is like 90% probability that the West is going to collapse. I can't exactly give you a time frame on it, but there are some up, up and coming developing nations that respect men and intelligent men like yourself that, well, if you're watching my channel, you have to be intelligent, right? You will be aware the West is collapsing, and you'll be able to identify some of these collapsing countries and not only maybe just move there briefly to have your children, have your offspring start life in a country that has a great future, not have your, your children in a country that is collapsing uh, and oppresses the men that are going to uphold it. What usually happens is, uh, well, let me, let, me, let me stay on this topic. You can pick a country that has a great future, have your children over there, use the currency as an arbitrage to uh, make sure that they have a, a middle to upper class standard of living within that developing society. And as that society grows and you, you get to the point where you are too old or you even, um, when, when you get too old, you, you die, your children will still have be, they would have roots in a country that has a great future and could possibly be wealthy. So you're not only using the currency by picking a developing country where you have a little bit more power and leverage in the relationship so that you can actually make decisions. Uh, we don't want to talk about what they're doing to children in the United States at the moment, but there's some uh, horrific, uh, uh, like, horrific things happening to American children in their school system at the moment that is quite disgusting and I think a lot of people agree. Yet you can find another country that won't do that to, to your children uh, and you can use currency arbitrage to make sure they have a good standard of living. You can have a uh, say in how they're brought up because you'll have a lot more leverage and you won't be living in a, an oppressed system that oppresses you as a man uh, and takes away your rights. Uh, and on top of that, uh, what you can do is uh, in the future maybe you can move over there as that country starts to move up. But you need to pick 
correctly. You need to pick a good country that has a future. Keep in mind, as the West collapses, men like you and me are going to find themselves in situations like Ukrainian men have found themselves recently where they've started a fight because the country's collapsing and then they've just arrested men like you and me on the street and sent them into a meat grinder war where they are 100% going to die. Almost, I think almost half a million Ukrainian men have been literally slaughtered over there uh, defending a country that um, uh, has engaged in a war with a, with a behemoth twice their size, ten times their size. Now, countries like mine, Australia, we're starting wars with China, <laughs> a country 20 times our size. If I have children here, there's a very good chance that they could end up in that meat grinder in the future. So smart men like myself and you are now looking for other countries where we can, uh, we can become immigrants because this is the natural cycle of how the world works. Countries rise and countries fall. Uh, met the smart men get out early. Uh, the dumb men stay there and end up getting churned up into the meat grinder. And their children end up suffering the consequences of the bad decisions of their fathers. And so as a man in 2023, 2024, you need to start looking at the geopolitical landscape. Not only the things that are right in front of your eyes, the oppression that you and me are suffering from in the West, but you need to start thinking how are your children going to survive in the ever-changing environment out there. And I'd say maybe arbitrage, which uh, although I've invented that, that term, it can't be that, it, it might be a novel idea. I've never heard it anywhere else. Maybe arbitrage. I've never, I've Googled it. I don't think anyone's thought of this. Um, I think a lot of feminists might dislike it and might, um, I might get some hate from uh, Western people who uh, still believe the West is great and uh, haven't caught up to the facts that the West is collapsing and dying in front of their own eyes. So I've got a blog post on my website, uh, I might link it below, I might put it in the description, you can have a little bit more of a read. But the basic premise is this, you find yourself a girl in a country, you have to understand a little bit about geopolitics, that's where I come in. and. Um, if you would like to engage in this, um, I'm not only coming up with this idea and spreading it around for everybody else, you can also hire me to not only identify countries that might be safer in the future and have a higher probability of success, but also uh, you can hire me and go on immersions where we use cold approach, we use dating strategies to meet girls, find a girl that you connect with and then what we do is we try and uh, put you in a position where you can then start having children with the right girl abroad in a country where your children will have a proper future. Top link in the description, go to my website One Man's Life Mission if you want to learn some cold approach coaching regardless of whether you want to get engaged in baby arbitrage or not. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.